Hey y'all, welcome back to Lisa Michelle Beyond the Scale. I'm Beyond the Scale again, y'all. I'm out getting my walk on. I'm gonna go back around the corner again and see what's cracking. I even put on some decent kind of clothes. Let me let you see my my outfit. Got my my jeans and my top on and I'm 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 feeling okay better today than I have been, so getting my walk on y'all so i'm on my my walker so that's giving me a little bit of security and especially if i need to um rest in between i don't plan on making any stops or anything but hey you never know i might actually get tired and want to ride back or something but <laughs> i'm gonna make it if I have to sit down 500 times, I'll make it. But I'm doing this walk for my rehabilitation because I had occupational therapy that works the top half of me with my arms because my arms are like severely fatigued and so are my legs because my right side that wasn't affected by the stroke is compensating the left side that's weaker and now the right side is hurting and in the morning when I wake up I have um, severe sciatica so I've been working through all of those kind of things and I'm doing better it's still severe in the morning and then it's you know after 12 right now and by that time it starts feeling better I don't know let me zoom in over here on these flowers, y'all. Let me see if I can get up on the curb with this with this walker. I want to let you see these people's nice uh, flowers up in their yard. Cactus-type flowers are pretty. Look at that. How gorgeous. People have just beautiful flowers in their yard. Yeah. <clears throat> so... I'm off on my walk. It's not severely hot today, which is wonderful, right? Yeah. I've been spending time with my auntie. Her husband, um, she's been with him since like 1975. And my aunt just turned 70. Child, she looked like she in her 30s or 40s and she's in good shape. And her husband that she, you know, been with since 1975, he just passed away yesterday. And of course, he's passed away out of state. They have a, he has another property out in, um, where you call it? Louisiana. So he passed away in the home there. Turned out he had a heart attack. He was already half sick and wasn't able to eliminate. So he didn't have any bowel movements and he didn't have any uh, urine for a couple of days. And I was telling my auntie, that's sepsis. So That'll shut you down real quick because my stepfather passed away from sepsis. So he had some things going on and he had a heart attack. So they found him. He passed away in the bathroom. So couldn't call anybody. She hadn't heard from him in a good couple of days and that's so not like him. So yeah, you just never know. So you have to... um make sure you check on your loved ones if you haven't heard from somebody say something call these people your friends family i don't care if you think you're worrying them or anything you call them because you never know they could be deceased or something then i guess if they are they're not going to answer the phone but at least you can find out something so she got on yelp and was proactive and called the uh sheriff out in Shreveport so they went over to the house and did a, um, a welfare check nobody answered the door so they had to bust the 
door down, window or whatever, and they went in there and he was he was dead. So she was having a really devastating day yesterday, obviously. So my mother and I immediately drove out to her house to give her some type of comfort. And we did, and we said, you know what, Auntie Winnie, how about you stay at the house for a couple of days and just have family around you because my Auntie Winnie never had any children, so I'm pretty much her surrogate daughter because I'm her niece. So I just wanted to make sure that I was there for her and my mom and everybody. So she has family, so you have to be there for one another. She was there for us when my stepdad passed away. She's always just been so nice and courteous, so that's that's what we're going to do. So she's supposed to come on this walk with me, but she's handling a whole bunch of funeral arrangements. Hello, lady. How are you? The walker? Yeah, I need it. My my leg and my back. Uh huh. Yeah. What's your name? Yeah. Korean. Korean? Korean name. Uh-huh. You're showing me something, huh? Oh, you had knee surgery. My mother had knee surgery, too. In two years, you have um, both knees done. Yeah, yeah. You, how do you feel? Okay? You okay? Oh, good. How old are you? Oh, you're looking good. My mother, she just turned um, 79 in August. And me, I just turned 54. <laughs> I know you're thinking, ah, she's a baby. <laughs> you remember? Do you remember 54? You remember that age? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take it easy, take it easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're looking good, though. Okay. All right. Take care of your knees and the back. Can you go up straight or no? Can you go up or it's hurt? On those things, I am sorry. Okay. For your back, can you can you go up or no? No. No? Oh. You have one too? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. You go walking sometimes? A little bit? No. Ah, oh, no. Just in and out. Huh? Okay. Oh, my name is Lisa. It's nice to meet you. My name is Lisa. 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 Yeah, yeah. Nice yeah, yeah, yeah. I live on the, the next street. Mm. Big house. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I see. It's nice. <sighs> the lady is 86 years old. She's holding up. She's Korean, so she didn't speak much English, but she understood some. So I said, wow, okay. Sometimes people don't have water hoses or you don't know what their story is. These people have some sheet grass. It looks like the sheet grass next door. So they got that put down in their front yard to make it look like the grass is cut. I think that grass is fake though, y'all. But don't quote me. The bushes look on the edge of fake too, but mm, I don't know. Yeah, so I gotta walk all the way down this street. I live on the, um, the next street, so. I'm just out and about, and I just wanted to share with you all my blood sugar was da -da -da, 
it was 80 this morning. I said, hot zippity. And then my blood pressure was 125 over 80. So I'm feeling good. So I see another neighbor coming up to talk and I'm getting ready to get off of here. But it was nice visiting with you all. And I thank you so much for stopping into my channel. Click like, share, and subscribe. Bye, my good people. Until next time. Peace.